He's buff, he's mean, and he's bringing his in-your-face battle against illegal immigration inside the wrestling ring. While outrageous characters and trash talking are par for the course in pro wrestling, the supervillain you're about to meet, known as R.J. Brewer, is upping the ante, seizing upon the white-hot issue of undocumented immigrants to rile up almost entirely Hispanic crowds. But is it all an act? ABC's Lindsay Davis brings us a ringside seat. From Phoenix, Arizona, R.J. Brewer! R.J. Brewer is El Mero Malo, the chief bad guy in Lucha Libre USA. Look at the vile look on R.J.'s face. Unmasked and unapologetic, Brewer is the loudmouthed anti-immigration crusader in this Mexican-themed U.S. wrestling tour. become a metaphorical punching bag for American Latinos frustrated and outraged over immigration policy. Oh, R.J. Brewer's taking some punishment here. One of the most popular entertainment spectacles in Mexico, Lucha Libre is known for its insane acrobatics and colorful masks. The stars are typically unknown, but not Brewer. This isn't a character for me. You know, obviously it's pro wrestling and I turn it up for the cameras, but my message is real. This is really how I feel. It is my job as an American citizen to protect my country against enemies, foreign and domestic. But Brewer's agenda and stage name resembles that of another border patrolling anti-immigration advocate. The in-your-face finger pointing at the president, governor of Arizona, Jan Brewer, is the woman he pretends is his mother. Jan Brewer's, in my opinion, she's the only politician that has the guts to tell our president, hey, secure the borders and do your job. Portraying himself as the son of Jan Brewer was, I guess, a stroke of genius. That was kind of something that took the character from being a character that people have seen a million times to a character that had a little bit more depth to it. R.J. Brewer! This kind of political spectacle in the ring is nothing new. The WWF's Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov famously played off American fears of communism and Islam in their bouts with army hero Sergeant Slaughter. And when I say R.J. Brewer, and he's walking along a fence line, and behind him there are three masked luchadors climbing the fence and jumping over to the other side. Quite frankly, I'm not all that bothered by it. Fences like this all across our country are going unprotected, unsecured, and that's why I'm here. The general belief in wrestling is try anything, and it's only gone too far if fans stop going to your shows. But the fans haven't stopped. In fact, ticket sales were up 30% last year. While I certainly lack the brawn and agility to wrestle with Brewer like this, he agreed to square up with me outside the ring to weigh in on the border battle royale. So to say that you're anti-immigration is mm -hmm. probably a bit of an understatement. Yeah, I'm anti-illegal immigration. I think if you don't have documentation, if you don't have paperwork and if you don't go through the proper steps to get here to work you shouldn't be here and uh, it's a pretty simple statement that I'm trying to spread and I've been uh, you know I've been deemed a, a bigot because of it. So you're saying you have nothing against Mexicans? I have plenty of friends from Mexico. Maybe your translator had the night off. Perhaps his answer could be a bit more convincing. Or maybe you didn't get enough sleep from the mattress you share with your eight brothers. But Brewer insists he's not a bigot, that he just wants people to follow Senate Bill 1070, the controversial immigration law in Arizona, Governor Jan Brewer's brainchild. He's so passionate about SB 1070, he often sports it stitched on his tights. With SB 1070, right, for no reason at all, just because a police officer is suspicious of you, mm -hmm. they can stop you and say, show me your paperwork. Right. You think that that's absolutely right. I do. But it's not racial profiling? No, I don't think so at all. I mean, the Constitution clearly states we the people, but it's the we the people of the United States, not we the people of Mexico. Brewer's real name is John Stagikis, a 33-year-old who made the leap from real estate to wrestling. And while he's from Boston, about 2,000 miles away from the Mexican border, he is a one-man campaign with a platform based solely on building fences, not bridges. During lunch, out of all places, a lucha-themed Mexican restaurant, were surrounded by the masks of his biggest competitors, including his arch-rival, Blue Demon Jr. You know, a couple times, 
I beat him. I was close to taking his mask. I, I pinned him a couple times, but the you know the decision got reversed and it just didn't stand. And he's still wearing that mask. Unmasking a luchador in the ring is viewed as the final act of victory and ultimate humiliation for the loser. It has special meaning for Brewer. The mask, in my opinion, symbolizes evil. In the United States, if somebody puts on a mask, it's either for one Halloween or two to commit a crime. So this mask, to me, it represents a great advantage to them, and maybe they're hiding their identity for a reason. You know, I don't know, maybe they're wanted somewhere for, for a criminal charge or something. I don't know who they are. You associate the mask with being a criminal. Absolutely, yeah, I do. I'm really trying to decipher if this is really you or if it's really a ploy to, to sell tickets. Well, that you know, that's the thing. You know, pro wrestling is obviously theater. We turn up our, our views for the camera. So everything I say I mean and everything I, 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 I say comes from here. But just like in wrestling, it's hard to tell what's real and what's not. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in New York. Well, Governor Jan Brewer has declined to comment on R.J. Brewer in the past, and today she didn't return calls from ABC News. Thanks to Lindsay for that.